Wow. It's finally nice to find something. We are back with brand new 21-22 MVP hockey, I should say. Well, yeah, MVP hockey. Um, first product of the new year. Something that usually was released in August, delayed till December. Near the end of December, right? It honestly took my, the only place I get cards at Walmart forever to even get something. Besides, you know, baseball, 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 basketball, magic, Pokemon, you know, everything but hockey. So yeah, 15 packs of box. There's two bonus packs in one of these little blaster boxes. So 15 to 17 packs, something like that. Rookies are expecting about two to three rookies, maybe four for lucky. New stuff in here, like before and after, heart trophy stuff, mascot cards, very popular insert. No puzzle pieces this year. We do get the exclusive blasters of uh, gold script parallels. I think that's what a box, maybe. Yeah, obviously, top rookie you're looking for is Seagrass, Drysdale, Swayman, Lukanen, Caulfield, Spencer Knight, Grigori Denisenko, uh, what's his face? Quentin Byfield, you know, really good rookie class. And we're also gonna have more, you know, better rookies when Opichi gets released. We shall no idea when that'll be, but they'll definitely be up before series one at this rate. If it if it ever gets released. We're still waiting on like old products like you know 2021 SBA and all that, but yeah, everything's just getting pushed back. I don't think we have autographs in here at all though either, so yeah, so no autograph chances, so yeah, so I finally get open something on this channel. So we'll start off with our first pack of MVP. I am looking to get like a tripod for my phone so I can have like the camera angle reverse to like better quality pictures. So you guys see the cards. Each pack also has a Ice Battles parallel. So, well, we don't have, well, we'll start off with the base. So that's what the base looks like, you know, green. I actually like the style this year, green and black. Not some Kyrie having a break all year. The back always has stats. Uh, MVP did change. Usually, they'll have to like the player's name or how you pronounce it at the back of it. Now they don't this year. So, yeah, so we have Nazem Kadri, Alex Ovechkin checklist, Dougie Hamilton, Morgan Riley. We have a Jake Gunsell, the SB base series. This is will be like from like 200, 201 to like 240 or 220, something like that. And it's 203. And then our ice battles of Mark Giordano. Yeah. I mean, there's some good rookies I'm still looking for. I did get a bunch from Chase Breaks. I did get my Cole Caulfield, so that's pretty solid. So we start with Mackenzie Blackwood. Ryan Getzlaff. Phil Kessel. Philippe Ronick. Drake Batherson. And Ice Battles of Braden Point. And that seems to be in... Looks to be an all-base pack, so that's not fun, but pretty sure you get those every now and then. All right, we actually have something nice in the back. So we have Mark andre Fleury, Denis Gurianov, Ty Smith, Brady Dichuk. Also, like, another thing about MVPs, you always hit the first cards, first base cards. Of last year's rookie. So, Ty Smith, first common. Right here last year. 23 points in 48 games. Anyways, bring the Chuck. We have our Ice Battles to Tony Voltaire Viden. And I saw this at the back. Very nice hit to start. We have a rookie silver script parallel of Quentin Byfield. Second, all, second overall pick behind Alexis Lafreniere in 2020. So... A very nice hit, actually. I like that one. It's a nice hit. Former Sudbury Wolves, too, you know, which is apparently my favorite OHL team, I just state, since I don't think many people will know. Sucks that a lot of the hits are in the back of the packs, so yeah, weird. Anyway, so I have Dylan Cousins, Pavel Buchnovich, Artemi Panera in the checklist, Jean Gabriel Peugeot, 
we have a ice battles parallel of Steven Stamkos and our first before and after of Tyler Sagan. Now they do look nice, except the problem is the foil looks the exact same as the heart trophy foil. Uh, both cars have gold parallels. I'm not too sure if they're in the blast box product, but yeah. Next pack. So I have Ilya Sorokin, Yusei Seros, Jordan Eberle, Jakub Voracek. There we go. Boom. Nice rookie. Quentin Byfield. So I'm happy with that. Needed his rookie. Don't have his rookie. And now we do. And Ice Battles of Thunder Bay's Jordan Stahl. So yeah, Quinn Byfield's Silver Script Parallel and Base Rookie. Nice box for a Wolf Sands. Is he going to be one of my main PCs? I don't know yet. I don't need it. We'll see. Anyways, Carter Hart. Victor Edman. Sebastian Aho. Vincent Trocek, Shea Theodore, and Ice Battles of Alexis Lafreniere. He'll be one of the top future watches to chase, and I do hope he signs AL13 instead of the way he spells La Alexis Lafreniere. Like, it looks bad, if you ask me. So, yeah, I hope he keeps it simple. The future watch AL13. Keep it nice. Anyways, Thomas Shabbat, Ryan Johansson. Nick Schmaltz, Joe Bavelski, Dino Niederreiter, and Ice Battles of TJ Oshi. Yeah, I think the Ice Battles supposed to be like some card, sort of game or something. I'm not too sure. Like, they have all these stats and overall, and it makes no sense. Like, overall 85, but speed's 84, strength's 89, skills 88, awareness 86. Like, I felt like that should be, we think would be a higher overall like i don't get the overall i see a lot of this broken and like the overalls don't make sense for players like you have nothing over like you get off players like 87 88 89 and 93 overall and they're, they're overall in the card will be like their speed oh okay let me rephrase that they're like their speed their energy like their speed strength skill awareness could be like 87 to like a 91 and they're overall like an 85 like it makes no sense like math i get it it's hard next right, so we have tyson berry william carlson anthony mantha forgot he got forgot he was part of that jacku ferrana trade christian dvorak we have an ice battles parallel of jake gunsill and before and after of patrice bergeron i do already have that card as I hit Boston in the case break, so I know I was happy to get my Jeremy Swayman rookie. Continuing on with Ryan Strom, Alexander Romanov, Vladimir Tarasenko, Devin Taves, Carter Ferhage Ice Battles, and Ilya Sorokin. Silver scripts. So after this pack here, we got about five packs left, so we're almost done. So far, only one rookie. Which sucks. Anyways, Tori Krug. Alex Ovechkin. Gabriel Laniscog. You have Carter Frahegi. Nicholas Baxham. And Ice Battles of Gabriel Velarde. Yeah. So I'm expecting like one or two more base rookies. So my feels nice. We have Jordan Biggington. Travis Konechny, Miles Wood, Braden Point. We have a rookie card of Jeremy Swayman. Unfortunately, I do have it already, but Jeremy Swayman is a good rookie. And Ice Battles of Nicholas Baxham. But overall, it's actually decent box for rookies. I mean, it could be a lot worse. But two good rookies. Byfield will be the number one center once Skopitar is like, you know, gets old or traded or retires or whatever. And Swayman will be their future goalie, future starting goalie for the Boston Bruins. So, yeah, very nice. And it's Matthew Barzell, Logan Couture, Jordan Stahl, TJ Oshie, Matthew Tuchuk, Ice 
battles. And we have our first retro card, 20th anniversary. Not too sure of the year of it. Don't think I've ever seen an MVP card like this. I could be wrong, double check it, but we have Mark Shifley MVP watch. Retro. Again, I'm not too sure what year that's based off. I don't think I've seen that year of MVP, to be honest, so yeah. Either way, nice looking card. We have our first mascot card coming up. We have Victor Olsen, Patrice Bergeron, John Tavares, Anders Lee. We have an ice battle, so Jeremy Swayman, Boston Bruins back box. And ice battle, ooh, these are harder to hit. We have the parallel ice battles of Carlton the Bear. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is the parallel. I think this is the parallel. I want to say it's the parallel. Because I think, I'm going to double check here. Um... Gold script parallels, you get that one box. Or not even one of box, okay. Pattern foiled, so I think that's like a 1 in 40, I think. You get one regular one of box. We'll, we'll find out in a second after this pack. Because we have the other mascot here. So we have Thomas Hurdle. Nick Ritchie. I'm pretty sure he just got sent down to the AHL. Pavel Zaka. Ivan Provorov, Miles Wood, Ice Battles, and there is Victor E. Green mascot. So yeah, the Carlton the Bear, which is normally a one in a box hit, Blaster Box is one in forty. So nice one in forty hit on Carlton the Bear. But we must go over our last pack. Overall, very decent box. One in forty hit. Jeremy Swayman rookie and parallel. Quentin Byfield rookie and silver script parallel. And we have a gold script. And that's one in 18. So I think just one under, under just under one a box, but usually one a box. We have Paul Horat, Jonathan Huberdo, Ryan Nugent Hopkins. We have MVP one. Oh, the high series of Siemens Dam. Goes that confused me. Ice Battles, Ilyas Lindo. And our Vincent Trocek will be our gold script. That's all for now, everyone. I um, do hope to get, you know, new product in eventually. I don't know. I might have to buy from, you know, Vlime V, have them ship me boxes directly. Only way I can open stuff for you guys. But until then, everyone, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Overall, very decent box. Might, might as well do a recap fast of the hit. So, Fizz and Trojek. Um, Fizz and Trojek Gold Script. Uh, Ice Battles, not to worry about. Steam Stamp Ghost, High Series, Victor E. Green, Mascots, Carlton the Bear, Mascot Foil Parallel, 1 in 40, MVP Watch of Mark Shifley, Jeremy Swayman, Ice Battles Parallel, that one we can go over with, Ice Battles, Ice Battles, Jeremy Swayman, Rookie Card, Ilya Sorokin Silver Script. The Ice Battles are, are nice cards. I don't really consider them hit hits, but whatever. Before and after, Patrice Bergeron. Jake Gunsil, Ice Battles. The SP parallels are, I would say, are probably hits, since the SP hits cards are hits themselves. Quinted Byfield, Rookie. Before and after of Tao Sagan. Ice Battles parallel, Steven Stamkos. Silver Script of Quinton Byfield. And a, as high as Series SB of Jake Gunsell. But again, that'll be all for now, everyone. Thank you guys for watching this video, and I will see you all next time.